This video is going to show you how you can flush out your DNS cache in Google Chrome. Now, what is a DNS cache? Well, DNS stands for Domain Name Server. And what that is, is basically when you go to a website, say, for instance, yahoo.com, Behind it, when you go to that address, it's actually dialing up a load of numbers, a bit like in your phone book in your phone. So, for instance, if you was dialing Chris, you would tap my name in your phone book and it would dial my number in the background. It wouldn't call me by name. So websites work exactly the same. The servers they're hosted on aren't actually on, say, yahoo.com. They are on a set of numbers. And in some cases now with IPv6, a, let a set of letters as well now. So it just makes it easier for you to be able to go to websites. Now, what happens is your computer or Google, Google Chrome builds up its own local library of all of these web names and all of these numbers that it requ it's required to go to when going to websites that you've been to before to make it quicker and easier for you to get to them later on. So instead of having to go out to the server to find out the number for that web address, it just goes to your computer. Now, over time, that actual library on your computer becomes quite large. It can cause slowdowns in browsing. It could also get corrupted at times, which means you might not be able to get to websites. It can also become out of date. Now it does update itself pretty frequently, but if say for instance, a website had moved service today, it might not update itself for a good week or so. So therefore, you might not get in touch with that website. You might be going to a different website. It might not ever update at all if the uh, database is corrupted. So this is going to show you how you can basically clear that out if you've got problems with websites. All the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, this guide is going to show you how you can flush out your DNS cache in uh, Google Chrome. So first of all, what we need to do is we need to just go up to the address bar right at the top of the screen and we type in there Chrome, C-H-R-O-M-E. And then we want a colon forward slash forward slash net hyphen internals, just as it's shown on the screen right now. Pause this video, copy it down and unpause it when you're ready. Then press enter or return on your keyboard. Then if you've typed in the correct address, you should see this screen. Go over to DNS there. And there we've got to the right of host resolver cache, clear host cache. Now I should say before you click on this, temporarily it could slow your browsing down because what it's got to do is it's got to rebuild up the cache again. So what it's going to do is it's going to have to go out to the servers every time you go to a website to update the cache. After a while, it's not going to need to do that for websites that you go to on a regular basis. So just a word of warning, it could temporarily slow down your browsing, but hopefully overall it will make your browsing experience faster and more reliable. So all I do, I just move my mouse over clear host cache, click on the left mouse button and it doesn't look like it's done anything, but it has. So all you need to do now is just come out of Chrome and go back in and check to see whether your problem has been resolved. I hope you liked this video and if you did, consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel or have a look in the description down below. I've got my Amazon shop in there featuring all the things I've loved in the past that I've bought from Amazon. And also if you're in the market for a Fire Stick, Fire TV, Fire Stick accessories or even subscribing to a VPN, then please consider using the links down below as donating or using those links really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time into researching and bringing you these videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. Don't forget to like this video, share it, and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you.